Welcome to RK Tutorials, Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.6 and problem number 2.99. Find the tension S induced in the string A, C, B attached at the points A and B of a prismatic bar AB of weight P supported as shown in figure. Assume a perfectly flexible string, frictionless pulley with negligible weight, dimensions and the ideal hinge at D. Now there is a prismatic bar AB and it is attached with a string ACB. ACB is a single string. That means throughout the string I can find only a same tension. Let us say yes. The tension S is here and here also you can find the tension S by considering the free body diagram of A. Now remaining all other hinges are uh, uh, ideally uh, ideal hinges so no reactions will develop there so, by because of the force p what are the tensile force developed in the string acb is our interest now let us consider the free body diagram of ab alone by take only the ab alone now the various forces acting are self weight p as you you can see here self weight p and the string force s yes, at B and the string force S yes, at A, vertical string force. Only three forces. And here two reactions will develop, but we are taking moments about this point, hence we need not to consider this force. Now let this angle is theta. Since S is an inclined force, we need to resolve along horizontal and vertical. First, we need to find this angle theta. Now, by considering the right angle triangle ABC. A, B, C. I can find the value of theta. That is tan theta is equal to A by 3A. And theta value is 18.4. Now, S yes, force I can resolve into horizontal and vertical component. Horizontal component is S yes, cos theta. Vertical component is S yes, sin theta. Now, consider the moments about with D. Then, S sin theta, S sin theta will introduce a moment in the counterclockwise direction and the distance is A, S sin 18.43 because theta value we calculated as 18.43. So S sin 18.43 into A, the P multiplied by this distance, this distance is 0.5 into A. So P into 0.5 into A, that is equal to S multiplied by the total distance. This total distance is equal to 3a minus a which is equal to 2a. And upon simplification you will get s is equal to 0.297p which is the answer for the given problem.